Hello everyone, I hope that you are doing well. In the previous video, we learned how to trace events by using ASCII Tracer. In this video, we are going to uh, learn how to trace uh, events by using another uh, mechanism called PCAP. PCAP, uh, as it is uh, the acronym for Packet Capture, is a useful mechanism that we can trace nodes and devices in NS and then we can uh, use it uh, to with other uh, traffic analyzers such as Wireshark. Uh, Wireshark can open uh, PCAP files and you can see the information and you can trace the events. For uh, using PCAP, okay, first let's open our program first. Okay, this is for the previous uh, video. If you remember, it was for ASCII trace helper, and we could uh, create my first file and we could uh, see and analyze different events. But here, uh, for making and creating PCAP files and uh, sniffing the packets, we just need to enable PCAP for all point-to-point -point devices. If you remember, point-to-point -point is an object that we created here. Okay, and we install them on our nodes to have that device. Okay, so we write enable PCAP all and for all of the point-to-point -point devices. Then we write the name that we want to uh, we want for our output to be. And we don't write any suffixes because the uh, the mechanism is going to create the suffix and it is going to be pcap. Okay, let's run the program and uh, see how to analyze, how to uh, look at the pcap files. Okay, for this we go to the terminal, as you remember. We go to the ns3 folder. We go again to the main folder. If you remember, we use point slash waf was double dash run. Okay, which folder, if you remember, uh, I've told you that we put our files in the scratch folder to run them on the fly. Okay, the name of the file is first. Okay, then enter. Okay, this is the output. If you remember, it, it was uh, logged to the console by using uh, a log component. Okay, it is for the uh, previous videos. Okay, we don't care about that. If you if you have forgotten, you can go back and watch the videos again. Okay. Now, if you remember, in the previous video, I told you that the files are created in the main folder in the main directory so we go to ns3.35 if you see we have two new files here my first zero zero my first one zero what do they mean my first zero zero means this file is for the first node first device my first one zero this one means this is for the second node first device if you remember First we create nodes, okay, in this program we have two nodes, then we create devices uh, after installing the point-to-point -point on the nodes, okay, when we install point-to-point -point on the nodes, we have device and we keep them in that device container, okay, again, if you have forgotten, you can go to the previous, previous videos and review them, so, in all together, this is for the first node, first device, this is for the second node, uh, first device. If we want, to, if we want to open them, you cannot open them with double clicking on the files. Okay, what is the solution? There is a command for that, and it is TCP dump. You write TCP dump, then dash n n, then dash t t, then dash r. After that you should write the name of the okay what is the name uh, my first okay that is my mistake that i have written first okay 
my first oops I can then enter you can see the events uh, after running the TCP dump command ok let's have a look on them this is for the time to saying that uh, this event started at uh, second uh, second time to ok what kind of datagram IP from uh, this IP and this port this is the IP of the uh, first node and this is the port that the first node is choosing for sending the packet to the this IP which is the IP of the second node which port number 9 this is the port that we specified when we were writing the code what kind of protocol UDP length 1024 all of them are in the uh, code this is the maximum uh, packet size not maximum this is the packet size this is the uh, port for listening okay in the server side this is the port for the uh, that the client sends to okay so we have uh, specified all of them in the program okay if, if you want to see uh, if you want to have a look on the second node first device you can just change this one okay and you can see different console messages uh, at this time from this IP a packet arrived to this node okay it is a little different then. and then uh, the packet was echo this is for the echo okay if you look it is 2003 here it is 2007 okay this uh, this the package packet was echo at this time and in the sender the echo was received at this time after being echo okay so until here we have learned two types of tracing one of them was ASCII tracing it was for creating a file and seeing events and the second one is for uh, PCAP or packet capture which can be used with different software different applications such as Wireshark to analyze the packets okay just we use this command to create it and then we use TCP dump to read the files again if you have any questions you can uh, leave them in the comment and we can talk about them